Hi everyone, it's Julianne here and welcome back to the Scrapbook Pal channel. I am so excited to be back this month bringing you this mini square shaped birthday card using one of the brand new stamp sets from My Favorite Things and that's the Mice Day to Celebrate Stamp and Die set. Now to start on my card today, I have gone ahead and trimmed down a piece of Distress Watercolor cardstock and I'm going to be using a square masking stencil in order to ink blend the center area of my panel. Now this stencil is from Honeybee Stamps. It is their square spotlight stencil, but honestly there are a bunch of these stencils out there from really every company now, so whatever one you may already have will definitely work for this. Now I'm going to place my stencil over my panel, leaving some of that white area on each side, and I'll just be temporarily adhering that down using some washi tape. And then I'm going to be coming in doing some ink blending using some of my Distress inks, and I'm going to be using the colors Twisted Citron, Pine Needles, and finally Chip Sapphire. I'm going to start out at the top of my panel, and I'm going to be coming in using that Twisted Citron, just really ink blending that a third of the way down my panel using one of my blender brushes. Once I have that all down, I'll then come in with Pine Needles, again just ink blending that color, but really focusing that one in the center of that stenciled area. I'll then finally be coming in with my darkest color, which is going to be that Chip Sapphire, and I'll just be adding that color in at the bottom. Now in order to get a seamless blend between all three of those colors, I'll just go back and forth between them all until I'm happy with how it looks. To add some texture to my background, I'm going to be coming in using a paintbrush along with some more of that Pine Needle Distress ink, and I'm going to splatter that color throughout my background. I'll then set my panel off to the side to dry, and I've gone ahead and pulled out my Misty now, so that way I can stamp out all of my images that I'm going to be using on my card today. I'm going to be stamping two of those cute little mice, as well as the cupcake images and the two boxes. And I'm going to be stamping each one of those onto a sheet of Express It Blending cardstock. And I'll stamp each one of those using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink, so that way I can do some Copic coloring. Now off camera, I did decide to stamp an additional cute little mouse. That way it can go on the inside of my card as well. Now for my Copic coloring, I normally color in mice in either a dark or a light gray color combination, but I really wanted to try something different for my card today, so I'm actually going to be using some light brown Copic markers that I don't actually use all the time. Starting with my darkest color of E44, I'm going to be adding that color wherever there would be a natural shadow. And then I'll come in with E43, blending that darker color out, really extending those shadows in my image. And then I'll be coming in with E42, really doing that same thing. And then finally, I'll be coming in with my lightest color, which is E41, in order to blend each one of those together. Now the colors do look quite harsh, so once I've given it a second, I will go back in and just repeat those same colors again in order to get a really nice blend. Now my hopes for this card was I really wanted to create a masculine birthday card, which I definitely struggle with. I think it's just easier to make more feminine looking cards, but I really did want to try this out for this card. So for the cupcake, I wanted to bring in an additional color into my card that wasn't blue or green. So I went with one of my husband's favorite colors, which is purple. And I did use a blue violet color combination with BV13 as my darkest color, BV02 as my middle shade, and then finally BV01 as my lightest shade in order to blend all of those colors in together. Now once all I had all of my coloring complete, I did use the coordinating dies in order to cut out each one of my images, just temporarily adhering those dies down using some washi tape as I ran those through my die cutting machine. Once I have each one of those all popped out, I'll just kind of play around with each one of my images, really deciding on where I want to have them on my card and which one I want to use on the inside. I'll then pull back out my Misty and I'll place my panel inside of that so that way I can stamp out my sentiment. Now I use my anti-static powder bag in order to add some of that powder onto my panel and I'm going to be stamping my sentiment in that top right hand corner. I'm going to be stamping that out using some Versamark ink, so that way I can heat set my sentiment using some WOW Metallic Silver Embossing Powder. 
that anti-static powder tool will make sure that the embossing powder doesn't stick anywhere on my panel besides where I have stamped my sentiment out. Once I've added that embossing powder, I'll then just heat set my sentiment using my heat tool. Now before I put my MISTI away, I'm going to place my card base inside of my MISTI and I'm going to be stamping an additional sentiment that comes from that same My Stay to Celebrate stamp set. And I'm going to be stamping that sentiment down using some more Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Once I've stamped that a few times to make sure I have a nice solid impression, I'm then going to be coming in adding some liquid adhesive behind that cute little mouse and I'm going to be adhering that down into the inside of my card down in that bottom right hand corner. Now here is where I made a mistake and had to change really the size of my card. Off camera I had trimmed down my card panel just a little bit too far and if you've ever visited my personal YouTube channel you know I am horrible at trimming out a straight line even when I am using my paper trimmer I just kept trying to straighten up those edges but really just kept making my panel smaller and smaller but instead of having to start over and do all of that ink blending all over again I'm going to be placing my panel inside of my trimmer and I'm just going to trim off all of those white edges that are around my panel, really just leaving that stenciled area. So my card will technically end up kind of being like a mini square card. The total card is going to measure four by four, but my stenciled area is three and a half by three and a half. Now I've gone ahead and adhered my ink blended panel down to a piece of dark gray cardstock that I did run through my die cutting machine using a scalloped square die edge on there. I'm now going to be adding some liquid adhesive onto that card base that I just stamped my sentiment onto. And I'm going to be adhering that onto my die cut scalloped edge piece, just centering that card base onto the center of that cardstock. Now it is going to give my card that really nice scalloped edge as my border, and I really like how that looks. Next, I'm going to start working on adhering all of my images to my card. I've added some foam adhesive behind the mouse that's standing on those two boxes, and I'm going to be adhering him down onto the left-hand side of my card. For the cupcake, I'm going to be adhering that directly down to my ink blended background using some liquid adhesive. In order to adhere that last little mouse, I'm going to add some additional foam adhesive behind him and I'll just be adhering that down in that open area on the right side of my card just under my sentiment. Now in order to finish off my card for today, I am going to come in and add a few clear sequins and I'm just going to be adhering those all down using some liquid adhesive with the help of my gem picker. Once I have each one of those adhered, that's going to complete my mini square birthday card using the Mice Day to Celebrate stamp and die set from My Favorite Things. I really enjoyed how this card came out and I plan on making a few more of these cards just with different colors for my background. I hope that you all enjoyed my video as well today and that you found some inspiration on how you can use this adorable stamp set. Now, if you did enjoy my video, make sure that you do give it a thumbs up down below, as well as remember to subscribe to the Scrapbook Pal channel for even more card making ideas from the rest of the wonderful design team. Now, a list of supplies that I used today will all be listed down below in the description box. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And until next time, happy crafting.